Now we come to a very important part of fasting when you have type 2 diabetes and that is the medication that you're taking, the drugs you're taking to lower your blood sugar. And the drugs that were prescribed for you were prescribed based on your lifestyle, on your diet, on your blood sugar at that time. When you do anything to bring down your blood sugar by fasting, by changing your diet, by increasing your exercise levels, then you are changing that balance. So you have the same high level of drugs working on a lower blood sugar. And what's going to happen? The drugs are going to push your blood sugar so low that eventually you'll develop hypoglycemia. And hypoglycemia can push you into a coma and that might be so severe, so bad, that you don't wake up. Some drugs are more likely to cause severe hypoglycemia. These would include insulin and sulfonyl ureas like amaryl, dionyl and diamicron. Some drugs are less likely to cause severe hypoglycemia. These would include metformin or glucophage, DPP-4 inhibitors like Genuvia, Galvus and Trigenta, and SGLT2 inhibitors like Forxiga, Invocana and Jardiance. If you're in doubt about how much of your blood sugar medication you should be taking on a fasting day, it's better to lean towards taking less than taking more. A slightly higher blood sugar of 8 to 10 millimoles per litre, that's about 140 to 180 milligrams per DL. This kind of blood sugar is acceptable, it's manageable in a situation where you're trying to avoid severe hypoglycemia from your drugs while you're fasting. And you should test your blood sugar two to four times a day, depending on the length of your fast, to make sure that you're not developing hypoglycemia. Signs of hypoglycemia include palpitations, where you can feel your heart pounding in your chest, shaking, sweating, dizziness, confusion, and extreme hunger. You need to be aware of these symptoms. You should have them in mind. And you need to tell your family, people around you, especially if you're fasting, so that they can help out if you develop hypoglycemia. If you start having any of these symptoms, break the fast. Eat something, drink something that has sugar in it. And in fact, even before you start the fast, you should have these things available in case you develop low blood sugar. And again, in terms of medication, fasting can lower your blood pressure over time. So at some point, you may need a review in your blood pressure medication to make sure that your blood pressure isn't dropping too low. You can take most other kinds of medications without any problems, but again, I would caution, you need to discuss anything that you're doing with your doctor in terms of making adjustments to your medication. There are some drugs you have to take with food, like metformin, iron tablets, and so on. And I'll give you a few suggestions about what to do in those situations, and what to eat, that won't mess up your fast too much. You can take two to three tablespoons of chia seeds and put that in water. And what happens is that it swells up and forms a kind of gelatinous kind of glue-like mass. And you can take that with your drugs. You can also eat half an avocado. You could have a small bowl of salad, mostly greens. You could have a cup of bone broth with a tablespoon of ghee or butter or coconut oil. Another thing is that if there's a slow release or extended release version of the drug that you're taking, your doctor may be able to put you on that because then you'd probably only have to take it once a day instead of maybe twice or three times a day. Another thing you can do is that you can adjust your eating window depending on how long it is so that it can coincide with when you take your drugs. 